Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening, everybody. Thank you for connecting. Let me see here. Okay, how are you? Is it raining there where you are right now? Unit 11, it's Okay, we are going to wait a little bit for the rest of the class to connect. And we are going to review a little bit, right? Of yesterday's information. Okay, good evening. Noe, Sandra, and Catherine. Thank you for coming. Thank you, teacher. Okay, we are going to review a little bit. Are you able to check my screen right now? No, right? No. We're going to review a little bit of yesterday's information, okay? So let me see here. Okay, good evening, Sandra, Catherine, Jaime, and Rosa. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being on time. We're going to begin right now. Uh, today we have a homework, right? We have presentation, right? A little presentation, right? Did you do the homework? What was the homework about? De que era la, la tarea que tenían que hacer? What was the homework about? About landmarks, right? Yes. yes. Landmarks, exactly. Very good. So we are going to talk about that. Yesterday we talked about some landmarks. We talked about landmarks from El, El Salvador, Iglesia Rosario, Joya de Seren, Puerto de la Libertad, Puerto del Diablo, Lago de Cuatepeque or Cuatepeque Lake. And also we talked about other landmarks right around the world. The Great Wall of China, the Coliseum, uh, the Statue of Liberty and Eiffel Tower, right? Eiffel Tower. Very good. And also, what else? What else did we study yesterday? ¿Qué más estudiamos ayer? Um, the passive voice. The passive voice, exactly. What is the passive voice? What is the passive voice? When do we use it? Or what do we use it for? Um, when we want to say uh, the things in the other form. When we want to say, sorry? Uh, the things in other way. We went, uh, yes, exactly. We want to say something in a different way. Exactly. Uh, did you write passive sentences in your presentation for today? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. So we are going to talk about uh, the landmarks. First of all, we are going to review a little bit of the passive voice. Okay, if we remember the passive voice, it, this is these are the if we check the the platform, uh, these are the the structures, right? The passive voice, active sentence versus passive sentence, right? So active is subject, verb, and object, right? My sister wrote this book. In passive voice, the book was written by my sister, right? That is the object becomes the subject, right? And then the verb to be, and then the past participles. Did you study past participles? Estudiaron los pasados participios? Yes, right. No. <laughs> no. Okay, no problem. We are going, uh, yes, we are going to review some of the past participles, not, not all of them. Some, vamos a revisar algunos past participles. Y después la persona que hace la acción después se pone con by, ¿verdad? El sujeto pasa hasta el final. By my sister. Sometimes we, we, don't, we don't write it. It's not necessary. So the passive voice, this is active and passive voice. Active, what the subject does. And passive, we focus on the action. The focus is on the action. Ram killed Ravan 
in this passage, Ravan was killed by Ram, right? So we are going to check your homework, right? This is um, some of the examples. Machu Picchu was another landmark. And as we can see here, this is something similar that we you have to do, right? Esto más o menos tenían que hacer, ¿verdad? For example, Machu Picchu in Peru was constructed around 1400 AD. It was probably home for the Inca royal family. Machu Picchu was declared UNESCO World for Heritage Site in 1983. So uh, we are going to check your homework today. Just let me write it here. Who wants to begin with the landmarks? Quien quiere empezar a volunteer para empezar a hablar de las landmarks? Volunteers. Uh, sure. Okay, Jose Arturo. Okay, very good. Um, what the, landmark did you prepare? Uh, my landmark is Oscar Quiteño Stadium. Oscar Quiteño. Okay, very good. Yeah. And why can you uh, tell me about Oscar Quiteño? The Oscar Quiteño Stadium was was built in February 3rd in 1963 by the architect Antonio Portillo. The Oscar Quiteño Stadium is located in the city of Santa Ana. It is the headquarters of the Club Deportivo FAS, the first of the first division in soccer in El Salvador. This place has capacity for seven, 17,000 spectators. So that's it? That's right, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what, how do you say, espectadores? Spe spectators. Spectators, right? Spectators, very good. So he talked about Oscar Quiteño. It, it was built, right? It was built in February 3rd, 1963 by Antonio Portillo. It's located in which city? In Santa Ana City. Santa Ana City for Club Deportivo Fast, right? It is the, head, is the headquarters. The headquarters, very good, very good, perfect. Now, Jose Arturo, I want you to choose another classmate. Escoja algún compañero para que participe. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, Noé Vázquez Ponce. Noé Vázquez Ponce, okay. Noé, are you ready, Noé? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. What, is, what is the landmark that you're going to talk about? The National Palace. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this is located in the historic center of San Salvador. Initial, this is policy construction began in 1866 and was completed in 1870. It was built by the engineer Jose Emilio. Uh, and then how was restoration world was career how um, 2008 it was open opened the public considered the first building of the Republic of El Salvador and uh, it was declara declared 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 a national monument in December, uh, the one two thousand nine hundred uh, and seventy four. Only that picture. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Noe. Very good. So the National Palace is located National. in Centro Historico, right? Or Historical Center in San Salvador. And sure. what, what was the year when it was completed? The year when it was completed. And one thousand eight hundred seventy in mil ochocientos one thousand eight hundred seventy. Yes. Okay. Uh, very good. In years, sometimes we can uh, combine 
uh, we can say 1,870. It is kind of long, but it's correct. Sometimes we, we can say also 1870, right? 1870. So if I, if I say 1974, I 1974. Um, it is not necessary. It is correct to say 1974 in the year 1974. But if you, if you listen to 